three months ago, my season officially started. For strawberries, that is. Delicious globes of pure red sweetness, ripe and ready to go, as the rest of the garden was just waking up. Such is the life and vigor of the ever-bearing strawberry. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome to another episode of the Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we've got some vigor too. And today's episode is all about strawberries. More specifically though, June bearing versus ever bearing. What's the difference and which one is better? Hey, time short as you know it is, so let's dive in. In the world of strawberries, there's two main types, categorized on how and when they complete their flower fruit cycles. On the one hand, we have June bearing varieties that produce their entire crop of berries in a short two to three week span, early to mid summer. The fruit are larger and that single harvest is the bigger of the two types. On the flip side, we have the ever bearing types of strawberries. These are the kinds that I mostly grow here. As you've seen in my videos, they tend to start producing a little bit earlier, sometimes as early as mid spring. The berries themselves are usually a bit smaller, as are the harvests. The initial flush of berries from these guys actually lasts quite a long time, and it's followed by more throughout the summer, sometimes even into fall. As for which type is better? Well, that comes down to personal preference. Some people love the all at once harvest of the June bearing types, while others prefer the constant giving nature of the ever bearing varieties. When in doubt, throw caution to the wind and just grow both. And while you're at it, don't forget to check out the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, make sure to subscribe and click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.